Hi everybody, I hope you're well and welcome back. This is your reading for the 27th till the 2nd of January 2022. This year it will be a number six, so we should be balancing things out this year. We're more than halfway and let's hope we're more than halfway with the situation um, that is in taking place in the world with all the disasters and uh, uh, the lockdowns we are in our fifth lockdown in Holland and the Netherlands so I hope you are well and safe and I hope you're not in a lockdown for those that are in the lockdown please stay cheerful don't give up come and join us um, in the live sessions on Wednesday night and on Friday Saturday also in the new year I hope to bring some cyber angels into the life and talk with them or do reading with you or if you've got a question that you want to ask then and you don't mind coming live into the session then please send me an email and I'll get, send you an invite link and then you can join us. I just want to do something different and I want I would like to interact more with the cyber angels um, in the new year make it really life and that you can have an opportunity to come in and say what you would like instead of typing it um, I would love to get to know all of you of course but um, I'm going to do it this way this is the new thing that I've thought through and if you don't mind appearing on camera then you're more than welcome and perhaps you might, we might start something else. Perhaps you have an idea that you would like to do. Perhaps you've got a subject that you would like to discuss. Of course, with regards to uh, moods or cards, tarot, oracle or lenamon, let me know what you like to do when you come in life. I hope I will get a good response on this because I think it is exciting to meet you face to face and so will the other cyber angels most probably as well. You are cyber angels because this is the tea room and I'm cyber mom and it's been stuck with me for the last two years. I've been three, uh, three and a half years on YouTube and I just want to do something different, something exciting. I really want to interact really in life. So please do join me uh, if you like and send me an email or send me a message through Messenger um, that you can find that on a Facebook, then we'll get into contact. Also, I hope um, that you've had a nice Christmas. This is the reading, like I said, for the 27th to the 2nd of January. And also, um, the end, we are in Capricorn and also the new moon will be coming shortly. So be prepared. Happy birthday to all the Capricorns. Um, and I hope if for everybody, it's going to be a fantastic year. And that we can say goodbye to negative things. So please remember people next to you, together you stand strong. So make sure you remember people that might be alone or that might be depressed. Try to make them happy. Give them a smile. A smile to a stranger always makes their day and it sets your day positively. So let's get started with the reading. Hi Pisces, this is your reading for the 27th to the 2nd of January and welcome back. I'm using the Everyday Enchantment Tarot and the Dreaming Way Lenamon and also the Surrender deck and the Oracle Romance deck. Oh, I love the, the beautiful yellow, it's jumping out, so I hope I'm right that the sun is shining on you. Let's have a look. The overall energy means that you're, uh, you've got the Six of Swords, so that means you're moving away from difficult times, um, going to smoother times, quieter times, you might be crossing water, you could be moving home, you could be moving the business, you could be, if you've got a business, and you could also 
be going on holiday. Well, could be across water, so you could be flying to a warm country. Because I see a lot of yellow, so I, and the sun is rising. Look at that. Or well, the sun is setting on, on difficulties. So the difficulties are over. The way you're going to glide, like they have got their skates on, that's why it's called the Six of Blades. They've got the skates on, they can slide into beautiful new beginnings. Awesome. You also have the fish. The fish means that luck in business, luck at work, also knowing your boundaries, learn to say no, that's the shortest sentence in um, the world. Okay. Also, you could be working in groups or you could be delegating a group, guiding a group, um, also, um, be more strategic. You might have to work in a group and work on a deadline. And many hands make light work. The umbrella to me represents that you feel safe in a group, being like a fish in water because it is raining. It is. Things could be happening really swiftly. It never rains, it pours. Things are happening all at once. So perhaps you're very, very busy. So start delegating, ask for help. Especially if you're moving home, then it will be a busy time, especially now. So that's the overall energy. You've got number 34, which is a seven, good luck. You've got the king of pentacles. Everything you touch will turn to gold, but you must investigate and research before you invest in material or romantic situations okay the king of pentacles represents um uh, taurus so there could be an earth sign around you or you could be meeting an earth sign you've also got the seven here so you've got two sevens double luck amazing the seven of coins means what you sow you shall reap if you're certain that you have sown roses or cauliflowers you will know what you're going to reap but remember it will take time before it comes to fruition when you plant seeds it, they have to germinate and they have to grow and then they have to blossom then they have to bear fruit and then you can harvest it will take a while perhaps you've already invested in something and it's taken too long to your liking and this can create cause, um, this can cause um, arguments or disagreements because you've got the whip and broom. Now, you've also got the jack of wands or spades, no, not spades, um, clover, um, clubs, that's it. So that is the page of wands. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Again, the page of wands is here, so he's here, D double up. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius as well, if you are investing, a bit like the King of Pentacles here. This could be somebody that you are investing in or with. There is also a new beginning because the angelic and the divine or cosmos is showing you number 11. That's the doorway, the angelic doorway, messages from the cosmos and the divine that you have a new beginning. So that could be a news. This could be news about a job or about a passion. Ask somebody asking you out, that's the passion. Or it could be news about a new job. Could be news about somebody that's younger than you or could come from somebody that is younger than you or a child. You've got the lovers. For those that aren't hooked up, you could meet a new lover the lovers represent also Gemini. You might see your partner as your soulmate. And also, they could be a Gemini, but the lovers mean your soulmate. You might see your partner as a soulmate, or you might meet your soulmate. Um, partner doesn't have to be a soulmate. It can be a best friend for life. For those that have their own business, um, you have the tree. For those that have just recently um, got a job or got a new position, you feel as sturdy as the tree. You've put roots down and you're staying where you want to stay. 
boom, lovely. This would mean that you're wanting to stay with this partner because you feel solid. You've rooted. You've put roots down. Awesome. Also, the tree means be careful of your health or your partner's health. Somebody in the family could need an extra little bit of love and tender care TLC. Also, you might be branching out uh, if you have your own business or you could be branching out out in specializing in your vocation or your career. Again, you've got a seven. Now you've got three sevens here. You've got the seven of hearts, the seven of cups. That's dreams, wishes or goals. Make sure you don't build castles in the sky. Make them realistic and take action. Make that pro and con, pro and con list and see what dream could be fulfilled by undertaking action. If you like, for example, if you want a specific job, then go for it. Take action. Look for where there is vacancies for that specific career. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, go out more into nature and let the blow away the old cobwebs. That will bring you back in balance. As you've got the five, you might feel out of balance. But definitely, uh, you've got triple luck wow again you have the king of cups this is a man that is intuitive empathic he can understand the emotional side of life but he's got his emotions under control he's the best father uh, well he's a good father he brings in he wants to nurture and love and take care of his family if you're not hooked up you could be meeting a cancer prominently but don't forget the other water signs because he's the first sign in the tarot and the first sign house in the zodiac. That is water. That's why he represents um, cancer. He's very intuitive, loving, caring, passionate, handsome and sensual. Woo! <laughs> also, you've got the moon. So there could be secrets revealed because there are You've got the dark side of the moon and the light side. The light shines light on your path, knowing this is saying you are on your on your right path to your northern note. You're in the spotlight, so this could mean that there could be promotions um, or somebody in the wings that fancies you if you're not hooked up yet. Even if you're hooked up, there could be somebody fancying you. You've got the eight of hearts. Wow, you, the eights have been coming out like mad. You've got two eights here. Again, number five, 32 becomes a five. So two fives, you've got two fives. Awesome. The moon means secrets could be revealed. Uh, also, you're in the spotlight, but you need to do more. Uh, where there is a spotlight, there is illumination. You need to do research before you continue investing yourself or your money we've got two here we've got 11 here one and one becomes two so watch out for double numbers two two and you've got two eights the eight of cups the eight of hearts you want adventure you want excitement you want a new beginning don't throw an old pair of shoes away before you've got a new pair because in other words don't throw leave your job because the bills will still be coming in until you get your next job. Please make sure that you have a job to replace your job um, so that you can continue paying the bills and taking care of your family or support each other or yourself. You've also got the garden. There could be reunions um, and celebrations, presentations, gatherings and you could be meeting somebody there Obviously, you could be networking as well, but you could also be um, meeting somebody from the past, a reunion. Beautiful. Really lovely. But learn to say no. Set your boundaries, okay? And, and remember, if somebody is coming back from the past, and you are going to reconciliate in, if you want to, then make sure 
let you understand that a dog sheds its fur but not its tricks. They can new learn new tricks, but the the re why did you split up in the first place? Remember that. Now, let me see. I was just thinking about something. No, I can't. I, I was thinking about the Six of Cups, but um, we haven't got the Six of Cups here. I thought we had. We've got the Six of Blades. So you've got two sixes because the lovers are sixes as well. That's a double number as well. So render to play. So in other words, let your inner child come out. Take a break from overthinking a goal. Do something fun. Play in a time of recreation. Play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation. Okay, beautiful. So be more playful. Don't be too serious. Don't be too busy. Watch out for your health. Okay. Worth waiting for. So it's worth waiting for the right person to come along or wait. It's worth waiting to um, get the balance back to sort out everything and start in smooth waters. Dive, divine timing is at work in your love life. Wow. I hope you have enjoyed this reading, Pisces, and I hope you have a beautiful time uh, uh, over Christmas and New Year. Enjoy. Let your inner child out and relax. Take care, and as usual, stay safe and be blessed. Thank you for your support. Ciao, ciao.